Okay, so I have one of these small, uh, this is the, the same type, this is an 1804, 2400 KV, the 1804 and 1806 are basically the same class and they're set up the same, so this will work just like, this will work the same for your motor. But essentially the way I normally do it is I use my finger to hold one side of the C-clip, then I use something small and pointy like this, um, and then you can then force the C-clip off of here, let me block one side of it like that, like this, and then use this to force the C-clamp off. Let's try that again. I always get it on the first try. There. As you can see, the C-clamp came off. Okay, so then you can take that and then just carefully, you know, set that down kind of somewhere where you're not going to lose it. And now once that's off of there, then you can take the top portion of the motor, hold on to the bottom right here, pull that off, just like this. And so what you have is you have the top ring of magnets, and then what I was mentioning before was that if if they're kind of sticking up at all, you know, if any of these comes di becomes dislodged, because um, they're just glued in there, and if any of those become dislodged, what's going to happen is they're going to hit against the other magnets, you know, with your coils. So that's going to cause that grinding noise. So the best thing to do then is to make sure you push the magnets down. You know, back into place, make sure they're all level all the way across there, and for the ones, if there's any of them sticking up, just shoot a little bit of glue right here, you know, right along, right along here, like super glue, and then make sure that's in place, and in a few seconds, it'll be back in the, back in business, you just take the top part, and then you put it back on like this, and it'll kind of, it'll kind of pull itself together, and then you take your little C-clamp, you'll put that back on there just like that and you can kind of use your finger if you want to shoot it back on there um, you know, it's kind of tricky you want to make sure that it goes on and doesn't get doesn't get lost but it'll click back on there just like that so that's um, that's what you gotta do to repair the little brushless motors and that's actually uh, true for almost all brushless motors you can repair them that way